Reddit, most complimented fragrances. Shoot two, 2023, right now. Let's go. And congratulations on all your success. You smell terrific. say fragrance love is how i um yeah yeah i mean i i know I, i've been away for a long time hey man where you been <laughs> but you know life gets in the way like i said before um work is crazy my business is crazy you know karate school um my daughter's doing all kinds of things you know she's starting to get into acting now and I'm driving her all over the place. It's nuts. But anyway, um, I still love the fragrance thing and I'm gonna and I'm gonna do it whenever I can. I'm gonna try to get better at this. I know I've said that before. See, I heard it off and I apologize to all my subscribers. But I got a few videos I'm gonna pump out, so let's get this underway. In the second quarter of 2023, 25 fragrances got lit up with compliments. Not gonna waste a lot of time. Let's just jump right into it. Coming in at number 25. This is from the house of TFK. This is called Manic. Right, Manic is uh is an absolutely stunning fragrance. Um it, it smells like a uh, like a a hollowed out pear filled with uh vanilla rice cream and fudge. And also, you're going to squeeze in some orange zest. This stuff is just, this stuff is killer. Absolutely freaking killer. People really, really love this on me. Once again, from TFK, the fragrance kitchen is called Manic. And in at 24, from Bavoy, this is called Pavillon Rouge. You got rum, you got spices, you got whiskey, tobacco, leather, coffee, tea. Uh, ebony wood, vanilla, uh, I mean, the fragrance just, just knocks it out of the pack every single time, and it's very, very potent. When I wear it, it is a compliment monster. Once again, Pavillon Rouge. <laughs> 23, Juice Box, Beat Cafe. Um, another boozy leather fragrance with tobacco and spices. A um, little bit powdery. And it's got a lot of teeth with some vetiver. This fragrance is a monster. Um, and people love it on me. Um, you know, if if you care about the whole compliments thing, you know, you might want to jump on it. I don't really care about You guys already know how I feel about compliments. Couldn't really care less. But you guys love that stuff like I always say. So, you know, I'm going to keep dropping these. Um, this is very much complimented. Wore it to the office and people loved it. Once again, be cafe. <laughs> Twenty-two from the house of Tiziano Terenzi. This is called Porpora. Um, this is a rose bomb right here, guys. Um, a lot of people say that this smells very similar to um, Frederick Miles' uh, Portrait of a Lady. Don't know anything about that because I never sniffed it. Um, but this is a very, very jammy rose fragrance. All right, two types of roses, big time raspberries. Um, it's a little bit smoky. Um, with some spices, it, I mean, it is just amazing, and that's why people loved it on me, very, very much so. Once again, Bopora. <laughs> 21st, most complimented, is from the House of Montau, Oud Velvet. Uh, this, this is one of my most complimented fragrances ever, all right? You don't hear a lot about this. It's very, very slept on, but it is a monster. Big Time Beast, Oud Velvet. Um, it is very oody. If you don't like oud, you're not going to like it. However, to smother that a little bit, to give it some sweetness, you do have vanilla, tonka bean, sweet tierra flower, and African orange flower, not to mention ylang ylang. So when everybody's talking smack about oud and how pungent it is and all that stuff, I mean, whatever. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But um, even people that don't really like Oud love this fragrance. Tiara Flower is a big player in this fragrance, all right? 
you have to be careful on the trigger. If you, if you don't, people are gonna drop that around you. It's very powerful, but it is an absolutely beautiful fragrance. And again, one of my most complimented ever. Again, from Montal, Oud Velvet. And in at number 20, from the house of Kajal, this is called Lama. This is a fruit bomb with pineapple being at the forefront. When you get deep into the fragrance, it starts getting very, um, uh, like a juicy green apple with a ton of roses, jasmine, and magnolia. Um, this fragrance kills it. And when I wore it to work, um, I went into work on an issue in uh, one of the, my co-workers' offices and, you know, she she basically lost it. Made me write it down. Stunning fragrance. Very much complimented. This was kind of hard to find. You have to know of a boutique that sells it. Um, you're not going to find it at Macy's, so don't waste the time. Again, very much complimented. Lamar. <laughs> This is coming out of the house of Amouage. When it comes to Amouage, all right, this fragrance right here, Opus 8, is, it is top five most complimented from the entire house. And again, I'm going to save that for a subsequent video. Um, but people who love this fragrance on me, Opus 8 is a, a spice bomb, all right? It is a massive fragrance. This is one of those fragrances that is going to fill a ballroom. And it's going to leave an aroma that people are going to flip over because they do. They very, very much enjoy this fragrance on me. Again, wicked spicy, gets a little powdery at the end. Not a lot of sweetness in this fragrance, right? It is just strictly a spice bomb. Dries down to a nice sandalwood and a little bit of a powdery edge. But um, again, people love this fragrance on me. Once again, Opus 8. <laughs> Eighteenth most complimented is from the house of Zerjoff, and this is called Alexandria Two. Um, wow! I, if you don't know this fragrance, you need to know it. You need to get to know it, and very intimately. Again, I know that a lot of people. I, I spend a lot of time on Facebook fragrance groups, and so many people, you know, take a dump on Oud. I don't know why. I think Oud is absolutely phenomenal. My wife doesn't really even like it, but um, so many other people do. So many of the fragrances that get compliments when I wear them are just laced with oud. And again, it flies in the face of, of, of the people that, you know, say that oud is, is stinky and smelly, banyadi, all that crap, whatever. This is a very oudy fragrance, but the lavender, the green apple, and the rose just literally, practically smother the oud in this fragrance and turn it into a, a wicked sweet, very long lasting, extremely powerful fragrance. Let me explain something to you people. It is one of those complimented fragrances that I own, but I gotta tell you something. If you're like me and you like to change your fragrances throughout the day, all right? Cause I wear three a day. You know, you guys already know if you don't know me, I wear one to the gym, I wear one to work, and then I wear one to bed. Um, so I change, you know, several times daily. When you wear Alexandria 2, you better make sure that it's the longest time between changing of fragrances because I'm going to tell you something. You are going to, in order to get this off your skin so it doesn't clash with your next wearing, whatever that fragrance may be, you're going to need scalding hot water, a friggin' loofah, and 40 grit sandpaper. It's the only way you're going to get this off your skin. It is that tenacious. It sticks to your skin like friggin' Gorilla Glue. <laughs> it's nuts. But oh my God, is it a beautiful scent. People flip over this fragrance. It is really, really amazing. Really awesome fragrance. Once again, Alexandria 2. <laughs> Number 17. This is coming out of the house of Whittian. They changed their name. Um, not that long ago. This is called uh, Black Four, the standout. We were at a restaurant on Treasure Island a few weeks back. Went down there for a few days vacation. 
and uh, we were at a restaurant and um, one of the servers came up to me and said to me, I don't know which one of you guys is, is wearing a fragrance, but it smells incredible. And of course, my wife, every time we go out, she doesn't wear a fragrance. So every time we go out, we almost always assume that it's her. She rolls her eyes and points at me. She goes, nah, I'm not wearing anything. It's him. Loved it. Very much loved it. He didn't ask me what it was or anything like that. Some people actually, believe it or not, some people actually feel that they're going to weird people out if they ask you what kind of fragrance you're wearing or what's the name of the fragrance or whatever. I'm not. I'm happy to tell you. I'm, I'm not a gatekeeper. That shit is stupid to me. You ask me what it is, I'm going to tell you. All right, because I got enough fragrances, I'm not gonna worry about somebody wearing the same thing I'm wearing. It's, there's very little chance that's gonna happen. So I'm not a gatekeeper. If you wanna know what it is, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> this is from the house of uh, Amouage. It's called Overture, all right? This is a female marketed version, if you care. Again, you guys know me, no such thing. I mean, you can market it to whoever you wanna market it to. But to me, everything is fair game. You can wear whatever you want. This was very much complimented. Absolutely love this fragrance. This, this fragrance is amazing. It smells like it took a snifter of, um, of, of high-end brandy and you sliced up some green apples, some Granny Smith apples. You squeezed the hell out of them and dropped them inside of that snifter. Um, you have some cinnamon as well, very saffron heavy. And at the end of it, it gets a little bit leathery and a little, it's just a tad bit smoky. This fragrance murdered it murdered it. Every time I wear this fragrance, people compliment me because it is that stunning. Once again, Overture from Amouage. You guys already know this is one of my favorite houses. This is called Pomona Vitalis, all right? Very much complimented. I wore it to work. Three people made positive comments. This fragrance is incredible. Once again, Pomona Vitalis. Everybody knows this. It's from Mancera. It's called Black Vanilla. Boom. What's in the name? You're going to get a ton. And I mean a ton of vanilla. Very, very heavy with vanilla. But it's very tropical. Even though this is a really heavy fragrance, a lot of people might look at it and say, ah, this fragrance isn't for the summertime. It's for the winter. Get the, get out of here. You guys already know me. You want to smell tropical, right? I know people think that vanilla is heavy, but, you know, vanilla is grown in tropical locations. So... There's that. Coconut, big time coconut, peaches, you know, bergamot, black currant, jasmine and rose. This fragrance hits on all cylinders and almost every time I wear it, people flip over it. Everybody loves this fragrance. It is amazing. Once again, Mancera's Black Vanilla. <laughs> Coming out of the house of uh, Fragrance Dubois, Siberian Rose. My God, this, I gotta tell you guys, I am not really shocked that this fragrance got as many compliments as it, as it did because when you wanna talk about elegance, I mean, you will look up, I mean, this is it. This is, the, this is practically the very definition of elegance. This fragrance murders the game, guys. You're gonna have an incredible rose aroma. It's like you took a whole bouquet of roses, opened up some pear nectar and dumped it all over it. And then sifted some cinnamon on top of that. Throw some ylang ylang in there. Some juniper berries, you're gonna throw that in there as well. A little skanked out with the patchouli. My God, man. I, I, again, I am not shocked that it's so friggin' complimented. Elegant as hell, people. This, you wear this fragrance and you're going to smell like you have like tons of money. Once again, Siberian Rose. All right. Now, the 12th most complimented fragrance of Q2 is for all you guys who continually bellyache and cry and bitch and moan and complain about how you should never wear gourmands in the summertime. Specifically myself, because I live in Florida and it's July and it's 355,000 degrees. Um, it's literally about as hot as the surface of the sun in every single summer that rolls around here in Florida, all right? Everybody knows it's hot here like nine, maybe even 10 months out of the year, whatever. Anyway, um, 
I was walking to, you know what? Let's go ahead and introduce the fragrance anyway. Um, coming out of the house of Montal, this is called Chalk the Greedy, all right? Um, now, the in-laws came down from Boston. Uh, my sister-in-law, her husband, their two kids, and then I took my wife and my kid to the Orlando Science Center because they wanted to go. That's a really cool museum. Uh, so anyway, what I did was I drove my wife and kid to the front of the building. Um, I dropped them off. I went back to the parking lot and parked my car there. Now, on my way to the OSC from the parking lot, um, I walk in front of some people because they were walking kind of slow. I don't walk slow. I walk wicked fast anyway. So I walk ahead of them and while Chocolate Greedy is punching them all out, like the Barkley brothers. The guy was like, wow, that smells good. And his wife was like, yeah, it smells like a dessert. It smells like somebody's baking a cake or something. Boom. Again, walking in front of them in the Florida heat where all these guys are saying, ah, I can't wait. I, you know, I got to wait till December to wear, you know, my gourmet. Get out of here. I don't, I don't remember, guys. I don't differentiate between seasons. When it comes to my fragrances, whatever I feel like wearing, bang, I'm going to wear it. Worked out really well because inside the museum, another person said, wow, something smells really good in here. It was me. It was me! Um, so, j again, just to let you know, if you're that type of person who likes to, you know, categorize your fragrances by season, I'm not throwing any shade whatsoever. Couldn't care less. The only reason why I bring up stuff like this is because whenever I post my scent of the day, everybody's always giving me a hard time. Man, why are you wearing that in the summer? I do it because I can and it works. Done. Once again, chocolate greedy. <laughs> this is coming out of the house of uh, Omar Jane and this is Oris Noir. People love this fragrance on me. Um, and I can't, I can't stress enough how incredible this fragrance smells. And again, that's why it was so much complimented. All right, coming out of the house of man, Sarah, is Soleil de Tali. Uh, Soleil de Tali is probably, in my opinion, I think, slightly better than Sicily. And Sicily is a monster. It's from the house of Zerge Off, and this is called More Than Words. Oh, man. Um, all right, so I am in work. All right, a lot of the times I'm wearing these fragrances, I'm in work or I'm, you know, at, the, at a theme park or something. Um, mostly co-workers, because they know I'm into fragrances. So when they come in, they are, you know, they tell me, that, you know, that they love the way I smell, they love the fragrance or whatever. Some people make me write it down. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be people, at, you know, at my office. Love this fragrance on me. Um, Oud Monster. And again, I know a lot of people say, eh, ooh, fragrances don't really get compliment. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. A bullshit. Bullshit. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. More than words is proof positive. Everybody knows it. It is a monster. You got to be careful on trigger where people die. Once again, more than words. Brand new to my collection. Brand spanking new and already getting lit with compliments. This is from the house of Juice Box and this is called Micro Love. Now, I had never sniffed this before and I bought it blind. And when I first sniffed it, it was a friggin' wrap. I fell instantly in love with it. I'm like, I'm wearing this tomorrow. Done. I was in my office, somebody walked into my office for some help, and immediately, oh my God, it smells so good in here. I write these things down, because you know, I know you guys like this stuff. Another person came um, into my office, well, that you really smell good today. What are you wearing? Boom, told them, micro love, done. <laughs> Seventh most complimented, from the house of man, Sarah. C'est très Another co-worker. Oh my God, you smell so good. I know. <laughs> they know, they all know. Like every time, you know, when I go to the gym or when I go to the office or anywhere for that matter, 
And again, this is why I don't have a signature scent. A lot of people ask me, yeah, what's your signature scent? I don't have one, right? All fragrances are fair game to me. They all get love. And when people smell me, the only time they're going to associate me with a specific fragrance is if it's the only one they've ever smelled on me, right? Other than that, everybody knows that every time they see me, they're going to smell something different. Done. <laughs> In at number six, oh my God, this, to me, this is probably the top notch fragrance of the entire house so far, so far. I haven't sniffed them all. I got like five of them, but you know, that's probably going to increase. This is coming out of the house of MDCI and this is called Chypre Palatin. <laughs> my God, this is gorgeous. You name it, it's in there. Everything from Clementines to friggin' Styrax, all right? Some people might get put off by the fact that this has castorium in it. How dare you, you disreputable dunce. Right? And I know there are a lot of guys out there who just look at stuff like this and go, Oh no, I don't like it to smell animal. No, no, no guys, no. Just no. The fragrance is beautiful. Just an absolute stunner. <laughs> Fifth most complimented is coming out of the house of Montau. This is called Oud Lagoon. Uh, the standout here. I was at Panera Bread, went to get me some breakfast, right? I walk inside there, give the cashier my order. Everything is good to go. Boom, boom, boom. I go down to the other side of the restaurant where I have to pick up my stuff, right? When I walk up to the counter, there's a girl standing there making food for people. The same time I do that, one of her co-workers behind the counter walks up next to her. They start talking, you know, whatever they're talking about. And then she looks at him and she goes, are you wearing cologne? And he looked kind of perplexed. And he goes, uh, yeah. She goes, it really smells nice. So he walks away and then, uh, you know, she's obviously, Ulugun still kicking him in the ass. She's like, wait a minute, that's, is that you? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's me. You know, you can imagine, I wasn't gonna say anything cause I'd feel kind of stupid saying, hey, wait a minute, no, that's not him, it's me. Yeah, it would seem kind of stupid, but she corrected it. She came back. She asked if it was me. I told her. I pulled it up. I said, this is what you're smelling. It's called Oud Lagoon. She goes, wow, that is incredible. Oud Lagoon, fifth most complimented. <laughs> this is coming out of the house of Anfast, and this is called Rahava. You guys may have seen this a couple of times, previous videos. Um, I went to get takeout at one of our favorite restaurants because... We didn't feel like cooking or whatever, so I drove over to Celebration. I went to the town tavern. I picked up some food. Um, one of my friends was with her boyfriend, and she came up to me, gave me a hug. Both of them did, and they both flipped over it. Both of them flipped over this fragrance. One of the most incredible pineapple fragrances on the friggin' market, bar none. You like pineapple. You like fruits in general, specifically pineapple. You're going to love this fragrance. Very much complimented. Coming in at number three. This fragrance is a more... Oh my God, this fragrance is so good. Um, okay, so from... This is from the house of Kemi. And it's called Layla. In my opinion, all right? In my opinion, Layla is the greatest fragrance in this entire house. All right? And the others... I mean, I think I own like five of these. But the others are right up there. But this, I think, is top-notch. It has a spicy floral with very pronounced sweet notes in the dry-down. Gets a little, just a tad bit skanky, at, you know, in the, uh, in the dry-down. A little bit musky. Patchouli's a little bit skanky, but there are, it's like a, a whole candy store in a bottle is what this is. Especially when this fragrance dries down. It is a sweet friggin' candy store with spices and florals. Absolutely stunning. Uh, again, my favorite from this house. Once again, Layla. In at number two, this one is called Oajan. Again, <laughs> everybody wants to call this a wintertime fragrance. I'm telling you now, that stuff doesn't. You know what? Forget it. Okay, listen, 4th of July. Florida, friggin' a million degree. It was so hot that day. The planet Venus looked at Florida like. 
Anyway, we were off to see the fireworks. We drove up to St. Augustine, stayed there, uh, rented a house on the beach. We stayed up there, um, went downtown to see the fireworks, all right? So we're sitting down. We got a little place on the lawn, broke out the lawn chairs or whatever. I'm throwing a football back and forth with my nephews. So the girls asked us if we could walk back to the car to get the blanket, you know, in case the kids wanted to lie down and watch the fireworks instead of sitting on lawn chairs, you know what I mean? So we were like, yeah, no problem. So we did. It wasn't that far, maybe a 10 minute walk. Me and my man Doug, we walked back to the parking lot um, to grab the blanket. Um, a couple of girls are walking by us. They look like maybe they were uh, Latina. Um, anyway, so we're walking by them and they're staring, looking, and I can see them giggling already as they walk by. But as soon as they walk by and Owa John punched them in the face, You should have heard them. As soon as they got that whiff, one of them was like, oh my God, he smells so good. The other one said, oh, that's amazing. My man was oblivious to it. I knew what they were talking about. Owa John kicked ass. And that's why I came in at number two. But in at number one. <laughs> is the most complimented fragrance of quarter number two of 2023. It's coming out of the house of Profumum Roma. This is a compliment beast right here. It's called Ambra Orea. Again, one of the greatest amber fragrances in history. We went to have um, dinner at my friend's house um, and we went to play board games or whatever. And I wore this fragrance and she was like, I really, really love this fragrance. She's like, it's the best I've smelled on you. Her husband, you know, after he came up to me, shook my hand or whatever, he was like, whoa. <laughs> he said, I concur. That is really good. They would not stop going off about it. Wouldn't stop. Ambra Orea is a compliment monster. Again, if you like really deep, heavy, heavy amber, very smoky. Again, I know we are in the friggin' middle of summertime and everybody's probably losing their minds and throwing bricks at their monitors, smashing their phones on the ground, whatever. I get it. A lot of people love to talk about that winter versus summer crap. Shut Double-breasted lips. We've been through this, not doing it again. If that is such a big deal, again, last year, I remember, I the most complimented fragrance of the year last year was Black Afghano in the middle of summer in Florida. Again, guys, I mean, you do what you want. You guys want to talk about that whole summer versus winter thing? Doesn't exist for me. So before you start typing, you know, talking about why you're wearing this and it, save your keystrokes, guys. Weather doesn't matter. Seasons do not matter. None of that crap matters. All that matters is smell good. If it was a problem where heavy fragrances, you know, being worn in, in, in warmer weather or hot weather when it comes to Florida, this wouldn't get any compliments. You wouldn't have gotten any. But the fact that it is the most complimented fragrance of Q2, let you know really easily and quickly that that weather crap means nothing. Of course, you do again, you do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I do. And to me, no such thing as seasonal fragrances. I wear what I want, when I want, and again, most complimented, Ambra Orea, numero uno, summertime, second quarter in Florida, 2023. That's my video. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to start pumping these out more frequently starting today all right stay tuned because more is coming i appreciate you guys hope you have a great day i'll talk to you later